Well, hello there. Happy Easter. It's been a couple weeks since I have uploaded and there's been a lot of big changes in the world. A lot of uh, rules have gone into effect about why you can and cannot leave your house. A lot of people have died um, and our country is pretty much in chaos right now. So I know that um, today is day 30 of my own personal quarantine. So uh, with all that's going on in the world, I'm sure that the pressing question that everyone has in mind is, how am I doing? What about me? Okay, because I live alone, okay? I have literally not touched another human being in 30 days. And, um, you know, for, for the first week, it was hard. And then the second week, it also was hard. And then the third week, I was like, oh, maybe this isn't so hard. I kind of like this. This is very low pressure. I feel like I have, you know, a lot of freedom, how to structure my time, blah, blah, blah. And then this past week, which was the fourth week, suddenly very hard again. And the past two days in particular, I've just been like jumping out of my skin. I just want to see people. I want to even just casually on the train at my job. A friend, maybe see a friend, maybe get a hug, maybe just be viewed by other human beings. Hello, I'm filming a video. I was too depressed to do it for a while. Um, and now I guess I, uh, I'm just less concerned. Yesterday I was so bored and isolated that I got in my car and I drove for an hour. I, dro I almost drove all the way to Wisconsin from Minneapolis, just took 94 out past St. Paul, drove up to the 3M building, topical, current, 3M. They make masks, they make ventilators, I think, I don't know. But the 3M building has this, it's this lovely rainbow building on the other side of St. Paul and I just kept going. I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna drive to Hudson, Wisconsin. Why not? But it doesn't even matter. What would I do in Hudson, Wisconsin? Go to a restaurant? No. Go to a park? Well, can't do that because uh, all the parks are full of people because everyone has the same idea. Oh, I can't go. I can't go to the bar. I'll go to the park. So there's just crowds and crowds of people at the parks. And you know what? I'm going to try not to judge, but it wouldn't be me. Won't see me there. Sorry. Uh, I don't, I don't see enough proper social distancing at the park and, uh, sort of driving past the parks. I told my sisters this yesterday and seeing all these crowds of people there. I mean, hundreds of people like driving through St. Paul and along the river and like the Mississippi Parkway and stuff, like seeing all the crowds of people, like no masks, no gloves, just raw dog in the outside. It reminded me of this story um, when I was a little girl I went to Florida with my grandparents and uh, my grandfather was driving the car it was night I think we were coming from the airport and like heading to the house we were staying at and there was this like uh, intersection that we had to stop where there was a red light and this red light took forever to turn I, and uh, there was no cars coming in any direction. It was like rural Florida. Like, no, there's no one coming anywhere, right? And <laughs> my grandfather, like, very patiently sat and, like, waited for this light to turn even though no one was watching. And he, uh, he said to us, sometimes being a Lutheran is hard. Meaning, sometimes it's hard to follow the rules when no one is watching. And that's sort of how I feel about a park situation. Technically legal, but wrong. And so I'm not gonna do it, even though I could. Um, it seems like Minnesota has been spared the worst of this virus. Uh, I think that currently we have the lowest rate of infection per million people in the entire country. Um, and so, I don't know, it seems like our stay-at-home order is, excuse me, I'm just, I've been drinking a lot of Diet Mountain Dew. 
because we all have to cope somehow. Our stay-at-home order is effective until May 4th, so maybe after that I'll be able to go to my job. May 4th. That's only, how many weeks away is that? One, two, it's only three weeks from now. Possibly in three weeks, my life could return somewhat back to normal. That could happen. Right? That could happen. I mean, what that, I think that's part of what's so frustrating about all of this is like, how long is this going to last? Because uh, I saw that Minnesota flattened the curve. So our the peak of our infections is going to be later than other places. And I saw I saw on the internet that our peak isn't supposed to come until July. Um I also saw that it could be late April. I don't know. That's I think that's the that's the very frustrating part of this is just the uncertainty. How long is this going to last? They've already extended the stay at home order once. Will they do it again? My birthday is May 30th. Am I going to be able to do things? What I really want is I want to drive out to town in Minnesota where there's a river and you can get on an inner tube and float for like two hours down the river. And you can, you can bring your friends. They can sit in inner tubes and you can have an inner tube for the beer and you can just float and drink beer. Beautiful nature. And that's what I want for my birthday, May 30th. So this coronavirus can just get out of here. I've had it. I don't know about you. I've had it.